Hi there, let's create our first Android project. To develop our app, we need Android Studio. If you don't have it yet, just head to Google, type in Android Studio, pick the first link. Here you have a download button. Dismiss this. Download, agree with the terms and conditions, download the package, and install it. And when you're ready, head back to Android Studio. Now to create our project, hit start a new Android Studio project. We end up on the screen. Here we have several project templates. So you have full screen activity, Google Ad Mob as activity, Google Maps, login activity, settings, scrolling activity, and others. But what we want is to build our application from the ground up. Therefore select empty activity and hit next. So the configuration panel, here you have to specify the application name. So it's budget tracker, the package name. Here you should have example. For me, it's already filled with alter path because I've used it before. I've used Android Studio before. So it remembers my package name. Here you have the location where the project will be stored. So I'll leave it by default to this value, doesn't matter. And the language, you have the choice between Kotlin and Java. But since the tutorial is about Android Studio and Kotlin, make sure to select Kotlin. And the minimum SDK, so for you, it should have selected 30 by default. And this specifies what's the minimal Android version required to run your app. Here, Android Studio is telling us that only or less than 1% of all devices are running on this version. So we want to target the largest audience. So we should choose an older version like the 24. And here we're targeting 73.7% of the population. So here you have to make trade off. If you choose a too old version and you have most of the devices, all of them actually, but your application couldn't use the latest Android Studio features. So make sure to select something like 24, just like me, and hit finish. So here Android Studio starts to create a project. So let's put it here. So first let's take a quick look around. When you first create your project, Android Studio already created some files for us, configuration files and all. And there are three main sections in this screen. So we have the editor section where we will code and edit our layouts. You have the project section on the left. It contains three, fo three main folders, the manifest folder, the Java folder, and the rest folder. So the manifest folder contains Android manifest.xml. Every project should have a manifest file with precisely this name. This file describes essential information about your app to the Android build tool, the Android operating system, and the Google Play. Here you have, so if we open it, here you have the application name. You have some information about the location of the icon and the rounded icon, the default theme, and the activities already generated by Android Studio. And here you have the package name, the one we filled earlier. So all activities and services should be declared here in this file in order to be used. So if you create a new activity, which we'll do next time, it will be automatically added here in this section between the application brackets. So we don't have to do it ourselves, but, but if Android Studio doesn't do it, then the app won't run. Last but not least, if your app needs special permissions like network management or else, it should be announced in this file outside the application component. Then we have the Java folder. Let's close this. The Java folder, we have the package name we defined and have and we have two other packages for tests. We won't use them in this series, so let's focus on this one. Here we already have 
a file here, main activity. So the Java folder contains the source code and notice that even we choose Kotlin, this folder is still called Java. So don't worry about this. The third folder is the REST folder. REST is for resources. So this file or this folder contains all resources other than code. And here we have Jabble folder. Here we can see we have the default icon. We have the layout folders. We have already one layout created there. It's activity main. And this layout is connected with this activity. We have the MIP map folder. Here we have all sizes of icons. And the values folder. The values folder contains three files. The color file, the string file, and the styles file. So colors file, here we have three predefined colors. These are system colors used by application. Here we have the string file. It has the string app name by the tracker the one we saw in Android manifest just here, string app name, string app name. So it's used, actually in this file you can define strings and use them in other files. And the style file, here we have our default style. So remember this name, it's app theme and in Android manifest here we defined our theme to be at style app theme that means the style file and this theme so this theme defines three main colors primary primary dark and accent colors these are the colors used by android studio and they reference the colors defined in the color file these three two these three colors last thing is the toolbar so here in the toolbar we have the hierarchy of the files and we can use it for debugging and launching the app on a virtual device but we have to create one first so let's do it head to this button it's avd manager click on it click on create virtual device and here you have uh, some devices you can choose amongst them i'll go with the pixel 3 i'll hit next here you have to select a system image. So I've already downloaded this one to avoid this video lasting longer than necessary. So if you don't have it yet, click on the blue download button here. So for me, it's not here, but let's say it's this one. And here it will start downloading some files. It may take some time, so let it do and then finish and all. And when it's ready, select it hit next, give your device name, I call it my pixel, make sure it's in portrait mode and hit finish. Okay, now our virtual device is created. Now let's test it. So let's close all these files, don't need them. And okay, so um, our main activity is linked to this activity main. So when we launch our app, when we try to launch the app, actually the device, the virtual Android device will start and it will package this application and put it in this device and we'll see this screen because it's the only screen we have. Another thing, uh, you saw these messages. So if these messages are that just disappeared appear to you too and the application or the device doesn't run, then you have to do something to make it work. So you head for Tools, SDK Manager. You go to Android, Android SDK, select SDK Tools and make sure that Android Emulator is checked. And then hit Apply it will download some files, hit OK, and try again, and it should work. So let's see our app, is it ready or not yet? Okay, for the first start, it may take a little bit longer than usual. So we'll give it the time it needs, and we'll come back in a few moments. 
Okay, so Android Studio launched the device and packaged the application and installed it in the virtual device. So like I said, we have only one screen and it's in Hello World message. So this is it for this video. See you in the next one where we will design the main interface of the application.